if you want to get uh, your screen divided like this. I thought that uh, you will need four rectangle cookie cutter effects for this, but there is another way to do this and uh, for me it's much quicker and um, right now I'm going to show you how you can do this by adding one column and then one row to the pictures. So for example, if we want this picture to be in the bottom left corner, first we are going to need to add the half left uh, cookie cutter effect to it, so it's going to erase the right side of it and after this since we want it to be in the bottom left corner we're also going to add the half button preset to it and again these are my own presets so I already saved them but you can do them the way that I showed you before so now we have it on the bottom left so it's that easy only adding one column and then one row so let's do this with uh, this one and if you want this to be in the top right corner first we are going to need the half right effect like so and we are going to also need the half top preset like this I'm just going to put this to the top left so and it doesn't matter uh, which in which order you uh, add them to this right now and let's do this with the same so this is going to be obviously in the uh, bottom right part and now it's ready so you can do this by simply adding a column and a row so you don't need the rectangles for it but of course we don't always want to divide the screen into equal parts for example you can do this or you can do this or even this with just simply columns and rows and I'm going to show you this one in the project file quickly. So, as you can see here, it's almost the same as the three columns, but we have the middle part divided into two. So for that, we are going to need this picture to share this middle part with um, the black and white picture. And we can either drag the free middle preset onto this picture, if you have that saved, or we can go to the black and white picture, click on the event FX icon and right click on the key, copy, go to this picture, drag some kind of preset onto it and then right click and paste. So now it's in the very middle as well. But if I drag it right here, you can see that the other picture disappeared because they share the exact same place. And we only want them to share the half of this space. So I'm going to drag the half bottom preset I already made onto this one. But the problem is that I think it would look a lot uh, better if it had a border. So I'm going to add a black border, maybe one, but that's not as uh, thick as this one. And it looks better if they are the same or kind of similar um, uh, wide so I'm going to increase it or it two or even three but since this uh, cookie cutter effect is only this so the half bottom part the border is going to be added to this section as well but if you click on this effect drag it to the left so before the other one the line is going to disappear because you added this middle column onto it so it basically erases everything that is not in this middle section so you can see that the border disappears but if you don't want to mess with the border you can do another thing so let's make the border disappear so set it back to zero because if you add the half top effect to the black and white picture like this the line is going to appear right there so it's kind of easier but it's one more um, uh, preset added to this one so you can decide what which one you like um, better but for example if you want to divide the uh, left section into three you can do this let's drag two other pictures since these two pictures are going to share the left third of the screen we can go to the picture that is on the left click on the uh, event affix right click copy 
So now we are copying the same settings to that left third. Drag whatever preset you want onto the picture. Right click, paste. So you can see it's now on the left third. Do this with the uh, other one. And now there are f uh, basically free picture sharing this left third. But we are going to divide this left third into three horizontal rows. And uh, I, as I showed you before, I have these um, presets saved for this as well. So the free top, let's make the this one right here to be on the top. Let's make uh, this one to be on the bottom. And let's make the original original one to be in the middle. See, and after this, you can move them to the position that you want. And now you have the left third divided into three, the middle part into two, and the right one is untouched. You can also divide your screen by diagonal lines. So for example, you can get this effect with uh, cookie cutter shapes. So let's go into the project and you can get diagonal lines by choosing the triangle shape and let's reduce the size. And if you move it to the right, you can see that uh, it gives you this section of the picture. So if you add another triangle effect to this, but uh, right now select the triangle upside down and let's move it to the left. And now you can get the left half of this uh, split up screen. And now you only need to get the middle one, but you can also simply add a border to this one and add the border to the one on the right and you have the selection, the diagonal selection for this. You can also divide your screen by diagonal lines if you use the diamond effect. So let's just add that one to this. Let's reduce the size, move it to the left and there you have your diagonal line as well. So it looks a little different. So for example, I made this with the triangles and I made this one with the with the diamond effects. Sometimes adding a border to different shapes can be quite tricky. For example, making a um, simple circle shape with a border is quite easy. For example, if I just bankrupt it and add the circle and then add the white border like this. See, it was very easy. But if you want a half circle with a border, that can be a little trickier. So I'm going to show you with this one. So I'm going to add the circle. Let's increase the size to 230. Add a white border with one. And uh, let's add the same effect to this picture. Right now. And uh, what I want to do is get this one. So you can see that uh, this is a half circle, this is a half circle and they have a border uh, on all of the edges. So after this I added the half left column uh, to this one and the half right column to this one. So it's going to split this into two. So let's find the half left and let's find the half right. So now you can see that the um, dividing line has appeared, but you ha don't have a border along this line. So you are going to need to add a border to the half left and the half right presets as well. So let's add a white border to this one and let's add a white border to the left one as well. And we can also make it a little smaller, so the distance between these two are a little wider. So let's reduce the size of the half left section to this. And let's do the same with this. So now you can see that the distance is wider. But the problem is that the border for the half left and the half right is um, a little longer than we need it to be. So for that, it's not going to work to just simply uh, change the order, but what we can do is copy the circle 
preset. So right click on the key, copy, add another preset. It doesn't matter which one from the list because we are going to paste the settings. So right click, paste. And now we are going to need to reset the border to zero. And now the line has disappeared because basically you pasted another circle onto this whole thing. And uh, because of that, this little part and this little part has disappeared. But if you look closely, you can see that it's a little thinner than this one. So if you increase the size of the circle by one, you will see that now it has the same thickness as this one. So we are going to do the same with this. So again, go to the circle preset, right click, copy, add another preset to the very uh, end of the list, right click, paste. So now we are going to need to delete the border. We are also going to increase the size by one. And now we have the half circles with the border. So you can see that there are a ton of things that you can do with uh, just the cookie cutter effect itself. What I mostly use is actually draw my ideas down onto a paper and I scanned uh, in a few uh, papers like that. So for example, if we look at this picture, this is the screen basically, and I draw down that first I want it to be divided into four screens and then what this one will turn into. And I do this with different things. So draw down different um, splitting up ideas. So the options are basically endless. So you can do whatever you want. And you can see I also sometimes write down uh, things, but it's in Hungarian. So you can't understand it if you could read what I wrote at all, because my writing is very, very messy, as you can see. So basically, I just draw down what I want the screen to look like. And then I draw or I also draw down what I want it to change into. And I, uh, a lot of times I play with uh, colorful pictures and black and white pictures. A lot of times I change my uh, colorful pictures into black and white pictures because that can have a cool effect. But just draw, just draw and go around your house and see different shapes and then you can absolutely use them in your videos. So I hope this was helpful or um, easy to understand or not that confusing at least i really hope so and if you have any questions left uh, please leave them in the description box below and i really hope you like this tutorial and hopefully i'm going to see you in the next one bye guys